Here in the valley of my soul When I am lost and all alone Through the shadows I can see Your love is chasing after me Like the wind that moves the trees, your love is chasing after me. No mountain higher, no river wider. My heart may wander, your love will never stop chasing after me. Your love will never stop. I worship you, I 
song like that and not respond to it. And for just a moment, I want to call to all of those who are in the room that maybe you've recently received a diagnosis. Maybe you've been told you're sick or you have a virus or you have something. Whatever it might be, cancer diagnosis or... I've, I've gotten so many reports this week for the sick, for those that are struggling and facing biopsies and, and diagnoses. And if you're here today or you know somebody who's here today, I want you to come forward and I'm going to ask some of my staff that are here to just lay hands on your back and pray over you for a miracle to take place. Come forward. If you want to pray for somebody else, somebody you know that's facing a diagnosis of, of any type of, of disease or sickness, the word says by your stripes we are healed. The word says that by faith we call upon the Lord and he will do great and mighty things. The word says trust in the Lord with all of your heart. The word tells us and calls us to pray and lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. So let's, let's do that for just a moment there and we're going to try to get around. Just lay a hand on you real quick while the worship team just continue. You can go into the next song, you can go to the last one, whatever you want to do. Never stop working. Never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Never stop, you never stop working. Never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. Never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, you never stop, you never stop working. this week. Yes, amen, amen. David wrote in Psalms 34, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles, amen. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit, amen. This week has been a heavy week. Uh, a lot of chaos in the world and I cling to this this is hope this is new and restored hope God's Word is never changing it's all-powerful amen he's sovereign over all Jesus. 
who are sick in body and those who just need a touch from the Holy Spirit to to bring health overall. So let's believe for that. Let's continue believing God's going to do those things. I would say this as well. If there's any other needs, I know that uh, when we go through anything from something that may seem small to something that's big, we always want God to, to be a part of that process and we need His will to be worked out. So if you're going through anything in life right now where you're just saying, hey, uh, I just need God's guidance in this. Can you lift your hand with me? And, and we're just going to pray over those things. And even some of the things where you go, God, this is so small. I almost feel, you know what? Bring it to the Lord and put it in His hands. Father, we pray for the smallest things to the great things. 
Lord, that we don't leave you out of any detail at all, God. May we seek your kingdom and your righteousness and all other things will be added to you, God. Lord, may we capture every moment when we sense your hand on something. May we press in and pray into those things, God. And may we not neglect the things that are in the very front of our lives that we need to pray for. So we pray for reconciled marriages and families. We pray for healing and bodies, financial provisions, addictions being broken off right now. Any kind of word curse, anything that has tried to keep back anyone in this room today, that those curses would be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray from generation to generation, Lord God, that your blessings would, would continue and they flow. And everybody in this room right now, that they'd be determined to be the beginning of an ongoing legacy, Lord God. Breaking the things that need to be broken off, Lord God, and claiming the things that need to stick that you would give the family from generation to generation, God. So we pray that you would hover, hover over every household today, God that you would encamp angels outside and inside of their homes, Father God, that assigned angels would be working overtime, Father God, that there would be a continual protection over families today, God. Lord, we love you. We know that you meet our needs. So may we never run outside trying to make things happen on our own or looking for other things in life, God. You are the source of life. You are sovereign over everything, God. So we place you in your rightful place. That's King of kings, Lord of lords over our lives, God. You said every tongue will confess and every nation will bow their knee to you, Lord. And so today we bow our knee to you, God, knowing that you are our king above all else. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And would you say amen with me this morning? Amen.